Good morning, everybody. My name is Hamidou Kaliki, and uh, today I will be installing a battery equalizer to this system. So you can see the two inverters there are Telecity Pure Sine Wave inverters. Uh, the first one, the smaller one, is the 2.5 kBA, while the bigger one is the 5 kBA 48 volt system. The smaller one is a 12 volt. So I will be installing a battery equalizer. This is the battery applier that will be installing to the system. It's a uh, HCO2. I placed the order on AliExpress and uh, I got it delivered like in two weeks. So it's a HCO2. Uh, it can be used on both the lead acid battery and lithium ion phosphate batteries. So let's keep going. Yes, anyone will want to ask why do we even need a battery equalizer? Uh, so from the name, it equalizes the battery, uh, especially for systems that are above 12 volt. So for this system, I say you have, we have a 48 volt system, and this uh, my inverter is run on this uh, Yadu solar battery. These are gel batteries; they are 120 amp hour each. So there are four of them: one, two, three, four. So what I will be doing now is I will be Using this multimeter to check the voltage of the individual battery, starting with the positive terminal that is connected to the inverter. So we connect, we connect. You see the voltage here is 12.93. The first battery. If we go to the second battery, the second battery. The voltage is 12.94. If we go to the third battery, the voltage is 12.86. If we go to the last battery, the voltage is 12.92. So you see we have 12.93, 12.94, 12.8, 12.85 I think. Then we have uh, 12.92. So you see the battery bulges, voltage occurred the full uh, I mean on the individual batteries differs. So the function of the battery equalizer is you are trying to equalize so that you do not over discharge a battery. For this system I have been using it only during the day. I use it to power all my appliances at home. So I use these batteries because sometimes you know the sun can go down or that there will be cloud. So at that time, if I use a very small battery, what will be happening is uh, the battery can easily be damaged. So for the purpose of this, this is the battery equalizer I'm installing. It's a HCO2, 48, uh, it is 48 volt, yes. You see it has four, oh, I can say eight, four negative and four positive wires. So I bought this off AliExpress. This is the one that has a display. If you look at it, you can see these are the signs of the dis display. There's a the other one that doesn't have a display. So let's get started. First, I'll be connecting these two positive and negative terminal to the first battery. So let's get this done. Then I will connect the second wires to the second battery. These are the second wires. So I go here. I'm connecting it to this is the second battery. Now two batteries are connected. I will connect the third battery. This is the third battery. I will connect the one. Now I connected the third battery. You see, we have 13.0, 12.9 and 13.0. So I will be connecting the last battery here. This is the last battery. Now I have connected all the four batteries. You can see before the second battery is 12.9 now it's 13 and the last battery is 12.9 so that is all for the installation now all i have to do is leave this thing as it is here if i leave it as it is then in no time it will try to balance all the batteries to be at the same you know even though they are as that it will be transparent charge from one of the batteries trying to balance the whole system together so this is all about the installation of the battery equalizer hco2 
I will be now putting back my inverter so that I can power it. So now I have put back the inverter and uh, I will be connecting the positive terminal of the inverter to the battery. So, but you see, if you see this, you can see like some sort of arc on the, sorry, some sort of arc on the battery or cable. So that's because I'm putting it directly on the inverter and you see the inverter is a 5 kBA 48 volt. So to prevent that from happening again, what I did was uh, I kind of find a free charge resistor that I will be using. So the resistor is here. All I have to do is connect it here then I'll connect it to the inverter like this. So for a little time, then it charges. Then I can remove, I can remove the, this. And if I plug it, if I plug it, there will be no spark at all. So I'll be putting back my nut. I will be switching on back the, what do you call it? This is a DC breaker that is supplying power to the MPPT charge controller. So I turn it on. The charge controller has come on here. You see our factory, what do you call it? This is a Felicity uh, 120 amp charge controller MPPT. You see now it comes up, it starts charging. And uh, I can turn on my system like this. Wow. The system is powered on so thank you if you find this video enjoying and uh, educating or helpful please click like and you can also subscribe for our future videos thank you so much for watching my name is Hamidou Faliki